so um, the journey for site was with uh, Kogi State started way before uh, 2018, but I think we formalized our interest in the state in 2018. And even though we had a slow start of activities, we've been able to do a lot in the past three years. And the reason for this occasion is to celebrate some of the successes that we have been able to achieve together with the state. And uh, notably is the collaboration between all the care stakeholders in the state. Uh, we've been able to develop uh, the state care uh, committee which we believe will help to sustain the gains of these three years of our partnership. We have been able to examine an average of 14,000 people across the areas where we have worked. We have dispensed uh, approximately 8,000 spectacles. We have refracted about 10,000 people. We have offered cataract, life-changing cataract surgeries to several people in Kogi State and other related eye care uh, surgeries and make many other things that we have been able to do. And um, as we close out officially on our partnership with Kogi State, we have been able to develop an eye care strategic plan that we hope that uh, the state can use as a roadmap to measure their progress, to guide their work, to ensure that they are also able to advocate to the government so that the government can also provide the required funding and the political will to ensure that everyone, every citizen of Kogi State who has an eye care problem will be able to access eye care at an affordable cost uh, going forward. And all of this is in a vision to ensure that nobody goes blind from a cost that can be avoided. And of course, for those who already are blind, to ensure that we have things in place that will ensure that they have equal access to health, equal access to work, and equal access to education. So the National Eye Health Program has a strategic plan for eye health, but of course it's important that the state eye care, uh, the state, uh, eye care programs also have their own context-specific eye care strategic plan. So yes, it is an eye care strategic plan that every state should have, and we're happy that SciSavers has supported Kogi State in developing this strategic plan. Today, we're here, I wouldn't call it a closer ceremony, rather, I'll call it um, a transition ceremony of site savers. The a development partner who has been in the state for some years now, rendering eye health services to the people of Kogi State. We have rendered both diagnostic and therapeutic intervention to hundreds or even thousands of persons living in Kogi State. We have also helped in training health workers, nurses, doctors, and a whole lot of health workers generally on um, how to give a quality eye care to the people. So today we are here to celebrate sight savers. We're here to celebrate their milestone they've achieved in Kogi State. For the past years, we've had sight savers. Some highlights of the achievements are, like I mentioned, free surgeries have been carried out across the entire state. Training of health workers have also been carried out. Specifically, they have trained some doctors in the state to, to, to achieve um, a minimum of diploma certificate in ophthalmology. And then as I speak to you right now, the doctors are working in the state giving surgical services to people of Kogi State. They have also provided some other um, eye health commodities to the people of Kogi State. Okay, that to oh yes, that's why I said it's just a transition phase for eye health. Sustainability is a plan that has been on before now. There have been some funds being generated from services given to some patients. The funds over the years are being kept for this purpose of today. Also, the state government, through the governor of Kogi State, Elijah Ahmed Usmanodu, who has been very passionate about health in Kogi State, has been supporting the health sector, has also been supporting the sustainability plan. As I speak to you, there's already an MOU being drafted, which will make us work effectively with the Federal Teaching Hospital in Lokoja. We also have the eye health unit in Kogi State. We are strategizing, we are planning on sustainability of this program so that we will have continuous eye health program in the state. To also mention is the 
health insurance scheme that we have in the state, it has a component of eye health in it that is giving free eye health services to people of Kobe State. Program, I mean, eye health program started about 2018. At that time, I was the director of public health. So the whole thing started while I was there in office. And that was the year I even retired from office. But thank God, 2022, His Excellency Ayabelo called me back when I was in U.S. to come back at the head of the Hospital Management Board. The Hospital Management Board, we actually supervise the secondary facilities in the state. So if the program is going on and they have to go to any of my facilities, I have to be in the know. We thank this organization very well because they've done a lot in uh, two centers, Ampa and Kaba centers. There are other centers that, um, you know, they see as in a cumulative center where they get our patients and take them to Ampa and Kaba for surgery. Um, it, was, it was supposed to be a five-year program, but uh, there was COVID-19 in year 2020, and so there was a, there was a little bit of uh, gap in between at that time about one year 18 months uh, eight months sorry and we are grateful to this particular organization because we were able to make up because ordinarily they were supposed to even close up last year but they still made it up to this day there are so many people that have benefited from this particular program those who have lost their eyes partially but mainly after the surgery it's like uh, you are doing magic for them once they remove the cataract you open your eyes, you just like, oh, since I have not been seen before, I've seen them. And there are some others who have glaucoma, who they are not really too, and they may able to surgery. But those ones too, they were able to manage them. Uh, for now, where we are, they are closing shop, and we are, they are asking us to now take over. Well, we have told them, we're going to try our best. We're going to try our best to take over. A lot of lessons have been learned. Like, they have mentored us to be able to form what's called a team to work as a team and the collaboration from other ministries. So it wasn't Ministry of Health Affairs alone. They could join other ministries like Ministry of Education. Why? Because there are some children who are in the school and they will be rubbing their eyes because they can't see properly. So what they have done now is to make sure they go to those schools or gather them and screen them for their eyesight. And what they call to actually to remedy some of this uh, infection that they found out. So what we are doing now, we are forming me a, a formidable team in the state, and we are going to continue from where they start from.